Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix Windows 11 cannot find gpedit.m. SC, Group Policy Editor, Error. The Windows 11 Home Edition comes standard on the majority of PCs. It's worth noting that Group Policy Editor, gpedit.msc, isn't included with Windows 11 Home Edition. Instead, Pro Edition is the only version of Windows that has Group Policy Editor. Enable Group Policy Editor with a batch file first right click on the desktop new option. We'll show and click on the text document, after clicking we'll show the text document. Option on your desktop. Then open the text document on the desktop. Type or paste in the following batch file code then click file at the top left corner and select the save as option, the code will be in the description box or comment box. Next, select the All Files option from the Save as Type drop-down menu, Enter Group. Policy Editor. Bat within the file name text box and select Desktop to save the file in there. Thereafter, right-click the Group Policy Editor batch file saved on the desktop and select Run as Administrator. A command prompt window will appear at this point. Wait until it says 100% before continuing. Before you close that window, be sure that this operation was accomplished correctly. After 100%, press any key to click continue, and you will see CMD close. After CMD close, tap Windows search bar and type gpedit.msc and click on open. This will open the group policy editor on your Windows 11 laptop and PC, completing your responsibilities. That's the end of it. The procedures to enable the group policy editor in Windows 11 Home Edition were as follows. You can now configure and modify the group policy editor in the way you like. Second step enable group policy editor via the command prompt. The search bar, then type CMD and right click on the most relevant result to run it as an administrator. Commands will be description or comment box. Now type or paste in the following commands and press enter. Once the processes are done and reach 100%, you can close the command prompt window and try to open gpedit.msc again. I will not press the enter button because I have already been enabled with batch file. I just saw you, you can also use this method. As you can see with Windows Update, it can also be a solution. Click on check for updates in order to search for any updates that you might need or click on install new updates if that's what you are shown. This way you can enable the group policy editor option. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.